Today, holiday entertaining tips that will help your guests feel right at home. Jenny Steffens Hobbick runs an event planning company, and she's been featured in magazines and Martha Stewart's blog. Hi, Jenny. Hi, how are you doing? Doing great. Nice to have you on the show today. So how can we wow and surprise our guests? Well, you know, the holidays are a really exciting time, and we always have this beautiful vision of all of these special family moments. But the reality of it is, is that it can be really stressful and entertaining, especially if you're the one with a house full of guests. So Hampton Hotels and I have partnered up to put together all of our favorite hospitality tips uh, so that you can really enjoy your holidays, too. I think that's fantastic. A lot of people like a little bit of break from relatives or staying with friends. So it's nice sometimes to have a nice hotel that you can stay at just to get a little bit of a break and distance too. So I think that's fantastic. So what are some of the ways that we can best be prepared for guests? Um, well, you know, I always like to welcome everyone really warmly to my home. Um, I think that's a great way to start the weekend off on a, on a nice foot there. And so I have fresh baked cookies, so that's a great idea. Um, and that just kind of lets them know that you're happy they're there. Because so many times your guests can feel like they're burdening you. So I always want them to feel, you know, really relaxed and we're so glad you're here. So a, a nice welcome is a really great way to do that. Um, the other thing that I do that kind of takes really pressure off me as the host is I make myself or the house really user friendly and help yourself friendly. So I'll put together all of the extra toiletries and the, the samples and everything that I have and I include those with a big stack of towels, maybe the wireless passwords, some extra keys, and I put that in one spot so that, you know, every other minute someone's not coming to me asking for something, that they can just help themselves. And what that does is it helps them just feel like they're right at home and it takes the pressure off of me. So what kinds of things do you include in a basket of toiletries? Um, you know, take a cue from like a Hampton Hotel, include a shampoo and conditioner, some lotion. Um, you know, think about what you forgot on your last trip and include that too because it's likely someone's going to do the same thing. Do you think it's a good idea to make time for exercising and fresh air? You know, uh, my dog and I, we go on a walk every morning, kind of before everyone gets up. It's our, I take a big thermos of coffee or hot chocolate, and it's kind of our ritual. And really, I, I call it exercise, but it's really for my head. You know, you get that clear head when you get some nice fresh air. So I like to kind of encourage my guests to join me or do the same thing, um, because the holidays can be crazy, especially with a house full of people. So in order to keep everyone kind of sane and friendly still, it's a good way to, to get everyone in a good mood is to go out and get some fresh air. The gingerbread house that you have in front of you, is that something you suggest people do with kids to kind of have an activity? You know, um, everyone thinks that gingerbread houses are just for kids, but I think it's actually fun to include the whole family. Um, toddlers through grandparents, everyone make a gingerbread house and have it be a competition. And I think it's really fun. Then you can put them all down the uh, dining room table, and you don't have to worry about making a centerpiece that way because you can put them all down the table, and it is your, is your centerpiece for the holiday dinner. Great ideas, Jenny. Nice to talk to you, and happy holidays. Thank you. You too. Thanks so much.